you know, you're not here. You're not here. You're here for our wonderful comedians. And our first up is a major guy in a major way. Because he is a drum major. Whoa. Can you believe that? Because that person is Lane Clayton. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you for uh, showing up. Uh, so much for you to not show up. One moment. It looks good. Look good. Wow, you guys are, there's a lot of you. It's like the show is free or something. Well, okay, a little about me. My name is Lane Flatten. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Uh, how many of you guys, my show, okay, how many of you guys actually know me? Raise your hand. That's strange because I don't know all, like some of you, and it's a little weird. Um, another thing about me is uh, I'm not what you would call smart. Like, no, really? Like, my family's like, oh, honey, yes, you are. And I'm just like, no, this is the same kid who put bologna and mustard in a VHS and hoped it would make a sandwich. <laughs> my mom cleaned it out. She's right over there. She's been flushing. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was, I turned 18. I was like, I'm the smartest person in the world. I'm 22, and I'm like, I know nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Like, I, I'm, I'm poor when it comes to intelligence. I disappoint people. But I also make people happy. You're just smiling. <laughs> All right, uh, to start off, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about me as a person. I'm prone to accidents and uh, danger. I am uh, very clumsy. Uh, a lot of my childhood was spent injured or sick. You can ask my mom, she's right there. Yeah, hey, mom. <laughs> How often is he sick and or at the hospital? Uh, I have broken, fractured, sprained, or bruised about 18 bones. A hush fell over the ground. <laughs> actually gave me one of my black eyes. <laughs> Fun fact. In her defense, I caught her off guard. <laughs> uh, I was like seven-ish, and I was, my mom was cleaning my room for me because I'm dumb and don't clean my own room. Uh, I came up behind her, like poked her in the back or the butt. And she was like, <laughs> and she happened to be holding a Buzz Lightyear doll. <laughs> So in the moment, like I poked her, like she pushed the button that activated the wing, and Buzz Lightyear was like, to infinity and beyond, and it blew, I watched it hit me right in the face. <laughs> so overall, it's a great life, I lead, where I get injured. Uh, but the next day, I went to a daycare, and I told my daycare lady that my mom gave me a black <laughs> I bet you can imagine how well that went. <laughs> I didn't understand. I was like, yeah, whatever, it happens. I surprised my mom. She hit me in the face. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my, the daycare lady called my mom. Got to fix our dad. Other family-related injuries. My aunt gave me a black eye once. <laughs> she was golfing in the backyard of my grandma's house. Who does that? <laughs> it's, it's about one acre of land great, and she's shooting golf at another house. <laughs> so like, whatever, but I'm down with my grandma, her name's Patricia. Uh, we're looking like by the pond, and I found like this turtle shell, and there was no turtle inside, so I got excited, I was like, the turtle's naked. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take his clothes <laughs> and show someone. <laughs> so naturally, I decided to run down the line drive with my aunt, oh no, like, and show her this turtle shell. Well, you know the sound a golf club makes when it hits the club, right? That's the same sound it made the second time when it hit me in the face. <laughs> so like, it hit me in the face, I became airborne. <laughs> and I was like, seven? <laughs> so uh, I like backflipped, landed on the turtle shell. Like I hadn't even realized what had happened to me. But I looked down and the turtle shell was broken. <laughs> So I was devastated, and my aunt is like frantically crying. She's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you broke it. <laughs> my grandma's yelling at my aunt. My aunt's yelling at me for being in the way. I'm yelling at the turtle shell. Broken. Uh, didn't even dawn on me until like 30 minutes later that I actually had a black eye. And 
Same aunt also uh, broke my collarbone. <laughs> and I think sprained my leg, broke it, I don't know. Um, I tried to run at her, I was like seven-ish. I tried to run at her to give her a hug and she happened to be by some stairs. So I like dove at her and hugged her. But she moved. So I like hit the wall with my shoulder, my collarbone, and I like fell down the stairs and my grandma's yelling at my aunt, my aunt's yelling at me, I'm yelling at her for not giving me a hug. It's a great time. I mean, I regret some of those things. How many of you guys have regrets? Raise your hand. Do you have, do you have regrets? How many of you guys? Okay. How many of you guys have zero regrets? So we have one. No regrets, right? No regrets. <laughs> not, not even one. Okay, like one to five regrets. Ish. Let's let's gauge this. Oh no. Uh, like sheepishly, like I have a regret. <laughs> one. Um, five to ten. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those ten. Like, more than ten, like, regret daily. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have, like, two big regrets. One of them, I'll just tell you the whole story. Uh, I was at a bar this past summer, and I happened to run into one of my exes. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not that bad. Um, I go, oh, hey, bad how are you? And she's like, oh, I'm good. And I, she had a friend, and I was like, oh, hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Lane. She's like, this is someone I obviously should have known, but I didn't, because this particular person had lost about 100 pounds and started working out, and they looked better. And they're like, I'm Tori. You, we, we were friends once upon a time. And I was like, oh. So my response was to say, uh, oh, yeah. You look healthy. <laughs> that was the wrong, <laughs> absolutely wrong thing to say. So to make up with it, like trying to think on my feet, I said, oh, oh, no. I mean, you look better. Oh. <laughs> At this point, I'm like judging a show dog at like, the kennel club. I'm like, oh, yes. This uh, looks healthy, uh, good, good posture, good form. You're looking good, looking better. And really, it was a terrible moment. Like, I only had one drink. I wasn't even intoxicated. And my best friend, who was just like over there in the corner, like. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm just here talking like I should have known this person and didn't. Uh, my second regret, I have like two big regrets. My second one, it follows primarily, I was hungry, like I am most days, <laughs> multiple times most days, and it was after my senior year of high school, and I had never been to school right now. So, oh my gosh, that exasperation. <laughs> um, and I was like, well, there's a first time for everything. So I get in my car, there's this tiny, beat-up, purple Ford Escort from 1996. I am six foot three, and this car is about this tall. <laughs> on stage. And I get in, I get to the light, I'm on this really busy highway, and this particular left turn light takes forever. And I had just missed it, I had watched it turn yellow and red, I was first in line. It takes about 10 to 11 minutes for this light to turn green. So I pulled out my phone. Little did I know, like, there's cars lining up behind me, and it's, like, terrible. But I was like, okay, whatever. I'm on my phone and doing this. About every five seconds, check on the light. Green. Or red. <laughs> yes. It's red. Okay, it's down. Red. Red. Yellow. Red. <laughs> I had missed the light along with like 10 other cars. <laughs> so what I did, I thought this was the best possible idea, was to throw the car into park, no. turn on my emergency flashers, pop the hood, and get out. <laughs> on the highway. <laughs> like I popped the hood, the car directly behind me is pissed. So he like moves to the next place, like a two, two, left, two lane left turn business. I pop the hood and I'm just like, I get out of the car and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I mean, I 
I could have taken the high road and just looked back and like, oh, phone. And just throw it down and taken my shame, but no. <laughs> I got out, looked at the line of cars, went, oh. <laughs> shut my door, and just started like, I get my hood propped up, like poking things. <laughs> I'm gonna check the oil. <laughs> I pull the oil, I'm like, yeah. Looks like oil. <laughs> I put it in, and there's a spark plug cover. And I take it out, and I'm like, yeah. Whatever, I put it on. I learned from my improv friends that that's actually dangerous. <laughs> so I was like, well, it's all in the name of lying to a line of cars behind me to make myself look better. <laughs> so, what's the harm? <laughs> And I shut the the lid. <laughs> I shut the lid of the, this explains like the extent of my auto knowledge. I shut the hood. Yeah. And I get back in, and this car who was next to me is looking at me just extremely pissed off. He's just white knuckling a steering wheel, just like rubbing it awkwardly. So light turns green, he goes in front of me, flicks me off, I'm like yeah, I deserve it. I get to Chipotle, and I pull in, and he's at Chipotle. <laughs> so I decided I wasn't hungry anymore. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Uh, Crowd's gonna come back up here and introduce the next up. Uh,